What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Passion and today's video is going to be all about Amazon, but specifically some of the favorites that I've been loving recently from them. But before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below. It helps to support me. And I know a lot of you guys are watching and you're not subscribed and you know, I kind of feel some sort of way. So just go ahead and click the button. It's free. <laughs> Okay, so starting off with one of my recent favorites that I've been loving from Amazon, it's this JBL speaker and oh my gosh. So I got this speaker specifically because recently I've been listening to music while I'm in the shower and especially when I have to wash my hair because I have natural hair and it's a whole process and you're in there for a hot minute doing your hair so my phone wasn't loud enough and i found myself always borrowing my mom's speakers i was like let me just get one myself and this one was perfect and it's also waterproof so i just hang this one off of my shower curtain and turn it on sound quality is amazing and i can't believe i hadn't thought about it before like it's literally life-changing and when you're in there washing your hair or doing you know your normal showerly things and you also get to listen to your favorite music or turn on a podcast definitely make sure you get this so the next thing well the next two things are actually kind of the same thing but they just look different <laughs> so this water bottle i love this water bottle this is a simple modern water bottle and it is a 40 ounce. So the reason why I really wanted this one, because I wanted one that was black and two, I wanted a water bottle that was super big that I would only have to fill up maybe like once or twice a day and like have my water intake for the day. Um, and this definitely gets me that well over that if I have two of these in a day. So I got this one and it's been perfect for quarantine because at least if I have one of these, then okay, you know, you've at least gotten 40 ounces of water that day. Try to aim for two. It's easier at work because that's what actually gets me up out of my seat is refilling a water bottle, you know, and just like killing some time. So this has been amazing. Absolutely love it. And it's really, really durable. It keeps my water really cold. If I put ice in there, like I can have ice. I can put ice in there in the morning. It'll still be in there like later that night. It's insane. Pick this up. They have a lot of different sizes. Um, and the reason why I picked this one is because I actually have a smaller size, maybe a 24 ounce, something like that, that I absolutely love. So get this, amazing. So going off of the same thing, another water bottle. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Why? So this is a different water bottle, as you can see. Jeez, I can't, I don't, I'm not really sure how many ounces this is. Maybe 24, 32, something like that. I can actually tell you, please hold. Okay, so this is 32 ounces and this water bottle is super cheap. It was just $11, so insane, right? I actually heard about this water bottle from another YouTuber while I was just like randomly scrolling. Um, I believe her name is Catherine June, I believe, but I'll have her channel link down below. But she was talking about this water bottle and it's basically the exact same as the Health-ish water bottle, which I believe that water bottle is like $30, $40, something like that. Um, but this one, basically the exact same the only difference on this one so it has the times along the side so you have the pm and then on this side you have the am and it lets you know when to refill which is one of the reasons why i wanted to get this water bottle but as you can see at the bottom right here it says 12 a.m instead of 12 p.m so what i'm thinking is probably the manufacturer for healthish was making these bottles and they made that mistake and instead of throwing them away they decided to just sell them themselves that's what i'm thinking i don't know but 11 dollars for a water bottle not too shabby and it lets you know when to you know when you need to take a drink of your water bottle if you're falling a little bit behind so got some water in here right now just chugging along so i go back and forth between this one and this one these are like my two favorites you know you can never have too many water bottles hydrate yourself <laughs> and also before moving on i want to let you know all of the links are down below to all of these things so in case anything catches your eye you can just click it take you there good to go 
My next two items are beauty related and I'm very, very excited for both of them. So starting off with this one, this is the Polish Choice Ultralight Daily Hydrating fluid so this is what this looks like and this has an SPF of 30 so I needed a sunscreen because there wasn't a sunscreen in my routine I was using a moisturizer that did have SPF in it but I recently changed to another one and it doesn't have SPF in it so I needed to get my own sunscreen so I decided to get this one after reading some reviews about it and I have been loving this so this is really it's not a thick sunscreen at all very light it comes out of the tube so that's what it looks like it just comes out like so so as you can see it's like really milky texture and you just kind of like rub it in and it's super light weight which i love not thick it does have that sunscreen smell to it but it's not overpowering like once i put it on i don't even smell it so i've been absolutely loving this so the next product i was actually watching skincare i like fell down this skincare rabbit hole one night <laughs> And this lady was talking about how she uses this to take off her makeup and it just comes straight off. She doesn't have to use a makeup wipe or, or anything like that. And it's part of her double cleanse routine. So I was like, hmm, I'm intrigued. So this is the Kodali Makeup Removing Cleansing Oil. And if I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Let me know in the comments down below. But this is what the bottle looks like. And literally it just comes out it's basically just like an oil in a bottle and like say my makeup right now i would just pump this out put it on my hands don't have the wet it or anything put it like directly on my face work it in and it starts to break down all of your makeup like it's wild how it works and after that you can go ahead and add water um to like lather it up a little bit and then you rinse that off and like your makeup is gone so i tried it out and i've been using it and game changing like I don't even have to use a makeup wipe so I still have some left that I'm just gonna go through and then this is just it's gonna be it you know I just kind of wanted to move off of the makeup wipes because I know that they can be a little like rough for your skin and I'm really into just kind of being more gentle with my skin just because I think that in the past I thought it could take a lot and I'm realizing that maybe that's not the case so absolutely excited about this so next up is one of my favorite things that I've been loving recently and it's helping me in the mornings to get up and it's this sunrise alarm clock. So it's this alarm clock that mimics the sunrise and it's absolutely insane. I love it. So you can make it brighter and then you can make it darker. You see it just mimics it literally just mimics a sunrise so it'll start waking you up like you can set it 30 minutes 20 minutes before your alarm needs to go off and it'll start kind of like the light will start shining and then usually I end up waking up way before my alarm goes off because I'll see the light and it's just that natural wake up it's nothing crazy like waking up to your phone alarm you're not you're not jolted awake it's that it's very natural and you wake up feeling real refreshed I mean you're still I'm still like a little bit tired, but I'm not, I'm way less annoyed, if that makes sense. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I very much recommend this for sure, especially if you do not like getting up in the mornings and you wonder why you're getting up and it's dark outside. <laughs> okay, so next up, we kind of have like a tech item. So I have my iPad and I have the Apple Pencil as well. And I was finding that writing on it, it was a little bit weird. So I wanted something that made the iPad feel a little bit more paper-like. So I got this paper-like screen protector for it and it has been amazing. Writing on it has been like a dream lately. Literally, of course, it doesn't feel exactly like paper, but you definitely have more of that friction instead of writing on that, like the glass surface where it was super smooth and like, uh, like kind of unnatural to be writing on, if that makes sense. So yeah, of course you can't really see it because I have it on there right now. Um, but yeah, like no bubbles, nothing like that. Definitely recommend if you have an Apple Pencil, 
for sure. Okay, so lastly, this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. So I have decided that when I grow up, no, I'm kidding, but I've decided that I would love to be an interior designer. Me decorating my room has really kind of awakened that in me. When I was younger, I really thought about being an interior designer, but I was like, oh no, I'm not gonna do that. Not practical, but I've decided life's too short i might as well go after it so i'll make a whole video about it and kind of like document my journey because i am planning to go back to school for it and get my master's and everything for that i have to create a portfolio and i don't draw or anything like that so i'm like i need to brush up on my skills well not even brush up i need to develop some skills <laughs> so i ended up getting these two sketchbooks Sketching for architecture and interior design, and then this one is just kind of like making a floor plan. So I picked up these two. So it'll definitely help me with developing my portfolio and just kind of, uh, as I said, developing my skills and getting better and better. So I'm excited to really dive into that. And with that, I just picked up some pens that the books recommended that I use for sketching. I cannot wait to bring you guys along for that journey and I feel like I already have with starting my room decor and I cannot wait to show you guys this. I'm waiting for a couple of pieces to come in and then I'll give the, you guys a whole kind of tour because it's definitely, it's definitely coming together in a very aesthetically pleasing way. So that will be coming up very soon. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss it and turn on the bell notification as well. And you guys, that is it. Again, all links are in the description down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also let me know some of your Amazon favorites down in the comments. I would love to know. I'm always on Amazon, always spending money that I probably shouldn't be, but hey, when you need things, you need things. But yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.